Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, and I welcome you to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is May 5, Wednesday of the fifth week of Easter. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 122. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Gospel Antiphon, Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own, Unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you, unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Remain in me as I remain in you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Maybe this is the more difficult aspect of our relationship with our God. Remaining in God. Remaining faithful to God. Remaining connected to God. Simply remaining with God in us. <laughs> with our full consciousness as manifested in our lifestyle, in the words and in the deeds. It's easy to start things. Madali naman magsimula ng mga bagay-bagay. But the question is, tatagal ka ba? <laughs> that is the deciding thing. 
Again, it's easy to start with beautiful and, and, and Christian things. <laughs> Pero tatagal ka pa. Do you remain in God? That is the, yeah, that is the, the, the challenge that we have, especially these days. We have so many reasons now. I mean, people in the whole world have many reasons to give up. <laughs> many reasons to lose hope, to lose faith, to lose trust and confidence, to lose interest in life because of what we're being going through. 14 months na tayo sa ganitong situation na para bang walang pagbabago. Or the more that we should heed that call of Jesus to remain in Him, to be steadfast in our faith, in our prayer life, and in doing good to others. Hindi naman tayo mauubusan ng magandang gagawin sa ating kapwa. No? Um, love can always be expressed in so many ways and... Um, Whenever we show love for our brothers and sisters, that love will be filled up once again to us by our God. No? We will never be empty of the love, especially if we are always giving it away to people because God, who is a generous God, will continue to fill our hearts with His love. He is the vine and we are the branches. The very beautiful um, image of connectedness. Apart from me, you cannot do anything. You can do nothing apart from Jesus. Which is really true. Which is really true in life. I hope that you have this experience. Whenever we depart from Jesus, from His teachings, from the lifestyle that He wants us to do, probably we are embracing more of the world than what it offers us. It does not bring the fruits. The fruits of love, justice, and peace. These are the fruits that, that God is expecting us whenever we are remaining with Jesus. Wala naman talagang tunay na kapayapaan kapag mundo lang ang magbibigay. Wala, wala kapatid. We cannot do anything if we are departed, if we are separated with Jesus. To remain in the church, to remain in Jesus, that was the first, uh, uh, one of the first problems of the early church. No? In the first reading, nagkaroon na ng problema. If you remember last time, one of the readings focused on one already of the pastoral problems of the early church. That uh, there is a problem with the proper distribution, proper distribution of goods to, especially to the widows, no? And um, yeah, the church made something. They made the ministries and they encouraged the deacons for that, for the distribution of of goods and and the things that are needed by the by the saints of the church. No, so na solbion. Today there is a one big theological uh, problem, <laughs> so to speak that. Had it not been attended properly and with and, and really remaining with Jesus and remaining with the church, siguro that very early the church has already been split or or, or divided that very or, or maybe dissolved at that very early stage of being a church. What is that? Some of those uh, Jews who converted to the faith, they still brought with them the mosaic uh, principles and, and commandments. Of course, it's also to be understood that they cannot immediately give up what they have been doing and, and, and using and, and believing of their lives. And then they, they converted to, to, to Jesus. It's not easy to, to give that up. And specific problem for today is circumcision. The Jews are circumcised. And circumcision for the Jews, it is a religious act. It is not... Just like for today, that only for hygienic purposes or whatever, but never religious. Before it was a religious um, uh, event, a process, no? And it is a mark of the Jews. They are circumcised. Now, the problem arose because many of these Jews, since they are circumcised, they, they, they proposed or they, yeah, they proposed strongly <laughs> that the Gentiles, the Gentiles, the non Jews, the uncircumcised that are now entering the church, should be first circumcised and they should follow the Mosaic law before they can be baptized. Hmm, medyo mahirap na. Medyo practical. I mean, I mean it's it's we see that coming, no? That kind of problem that they will be facing because of the situation. And so the big problem, should they be circumcised? Should they follow still the Mosaic law even if they are already believing in Jesus? And so they cannot solve it. Paul and Barnabas are against that. But of course, the Judeans or, or the other Jews are forcing on it. And so what did they do? And that is the best um, decision that they have made. They were sent to Jerusalem, to the apostles to decide on this. Look at that. 
if they decided on themselves, if they not, did not remain connected to the church in Jerusalem, which is the mother church, so to speak, where the apostles are at that time, then it could have been a split. It could have been a division already. And sabi ko nga, baka hindi pa nakakalipad yung, yung, ano, uh, yung early church, ay, it's already dead, so to speak. No? Hindi pa nga nakakapagsimula, ay baka tapos na agad. So, that was it. No? In the succeeding days, we're going to see what, was, what is the decision. But of course, we can already know. The decision is to remain in Jesus. Jesus suffices. No? Hindi na kailangan yung mga... Hindi na kailangan yung mosaic traditions and laws to be fulfilled. Jesus alone, remaining in Jesus is the only answer. But it has to be made, to be made as a counsel, as a, as a commandment for all. And then, masusubaybayan natin yan sa susunod ng mga araw. You can see in here already the, the primacy of Peter because he was the one somehow to, to speak out the decision of the council or the decision of the body about this problem. So look at that. They remained in Jesus. They remained with the church and therefore the unity of the church was maintained. A fruit also of the Holy Spirit. Unity, peace, justice, security in the Lord. These are all the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of being remained unconnected to Jesus. Amen. Habang nakakatipon tayo bilang isang bayang sumasamba sa Panginoon, Ilapit natin sa Diyos ang a- na ating Ama ang ating mga pangangailangan ng may pagtitiwala. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang pagkakaisang nagmumula kay Kristo, ang tunay na puno ng ubas, naway makahikayat sa lahat ng Kristiyano sa kanyang simbahan, manalangin tayo. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang mga pari, religyoso at mga, miem, mga misyonero naway maging tapat sa kanilang bukasyon sa simbahan at manatiling kaisa ni Kristo sa kanilang gawain. Manalangin tayo. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang mga nagdaranas ng mga pagsubok at kahirapan sa buhay naway manatiling tapat kay Kristo at sa kanyang ebanghelyo at sa kanyang simbahan. Manalangin tayo. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, Gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang mga may sakit, naway tingnan si Kristo bilang bukal ng lakas at kagalingan. Manalangin tayo. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang mga tapat sa Panginoon na namayapa, naway manatili kay Kristo magpasawalang hanggan. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso ay itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Panginoon, wala kaming magagawang anuman kung wala ka sa aming piling. Dinggin mo ang aming mga panalangin at panatilihin mo kami sa iyong pag-ibig. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salamat po muli sa inyong walang sawang pakikisa sa ating pagninilay araw-araw. Magandang araw, magandang buhay sa inyong lahat.